Exmoor National Park was proudly designated as the very first international dark sky reserve in Europe. The Dark Sky Discovery Trail has been carefully chosen to give you a safe and accessible route in one of the darkest areas of the National Park. On the trail you'll enjoy incredible 360 degree views of the night sky all around you. The trail starts from a small road just a few miles from the village of Exford in the heart of Exmoor. There is roadside parking for a few cars at the start of the trail and nearby. I'm here to show you the route. Follow me to get your bearings. Exploring the outdoors is fun and exciting. However, darkness can bring new challenges that you might not have faced in the day. I'm wearing sturdy footwear and warm clothing as it can be exposed out there. This hour long there and back walk is largely flat and has the Lark Barrow Farm ruins as your midway point. Here you'll hopefully experience a clear night sky free from light pollution and see thousands of stars and hear nothing but the wind and wildlife ahead. This is a great place to feel a deep sense of tranquility and contemplate your place on this universe. This site was formerly Lark Barrow Farm, built by the Knight family in the mid 19th century. In 1850, the farm was tenanted by James Meadows, who originated from Leicestershire. He attempted to produce Stilton and grow wheat, but in 1852, in desperate circumstances, Meadows left the farm and had to sell his stock and possessions to pay his debts. The farm later became a shooting lodge and then a firing range in the Second World War. All that remains today are the ruined walls of the farmhouse and outbuildings. Whilst the firing range would have provided a lively night sky all those moons ago, today the backdrop is alive more than ever. Stars and constellations have given meaning to the world for hundreds and thousands of years. Some cultures believe that the stars are the eyes of the dead, and other cultures believe that their spirits are willing to be born. There are one billion trillion stars in the observable universe, but the number we can see depends on clear skies, moon phase, light pollution and the equipment we're using. On the Dark Sky Discovery Trail, there is next to no light pollution, so you'll see thousands of stars with the naked eye. Did you know that stars don't actually twinkle? They appear to twinkle, especially near the horizon. Twinkling isn't a property of stars, but of the Earth's turbulent atmosphere. As the light from the star passes through the atmosphere, especially when the star appears near the horizon, it must pass through many layers of often rapidly differing density. This has the effect of deflecting the light slightly, as if it were a ball in a pinball machine. The light eventually gets to your eyes. With every deflection, it causes it to change slightly in colour and intensity, resulting in twinkling. The question of life on other planets is a fascination for all of us. And as you look up, consider if there is someone or something looking down at you too. On a clear summer night, you'll have to stay up late, but the Milky Way can be seen clearly overhead. Have you ever experienced the magic of a shooting star? As dust particles fall through the Earth's atmosphere, they're seen as streaks of light across the sky. And there are certain times in the year that you can see up to about 100 per hour. The most visible ones happen in August, October and December. With so many stars out there, it's amazing to contemplate the vast distances involved. The closest star to Earth is Proxima Centauri, located 4.2 light years away. In other words, it takes light itself more than four years to complete the journey to Earth. If you tried to hitch a ride on the fastest spacecraft ever launched from Earth, it would still take you more than 70,000 years to get there from here. Travelling between the stars just isn't feasible right now, but watch this space. If you've been inspired to do this trail, then a guide is available from one of Exmoor National Park Centres or online. More information on stargazing can be found on the website.